Just when we thought it wasn't possible, 25-year-old Lydia Ko proved us all wrong and put herself back on top. The Kiwi golfer had been struggling to reach her former glory in recent years, but she put in the time and the effort, and she's finally reclaimed her spot. The star golfer has also managed to somehow sweep the CME Group Tour. Stay tuned into today's video to see how she accomplished this. First up, Lydia Ko is back on top of the world. Lydia Ko has climbed up to the number one spot in the Women's World Golf Rankings for the first time since 2017, following her victory at the CME Group Tour Championship. And now, it's official. Lydia Ko is a champion again at the CME Group Tour Championship. Ko surprised Kelly Norda in the Rolex rankings to become world number one for the third time in her LPGA Tour career. She first reached number one in 2015, reigning for 19 weeks from February 2nd to June 14th, and last held the top spot for 85 weeks from October 2015 to June 2017. At five years, five months, and 17 days, this is the longest time between number one rankings. The previous longest stretch was two years, five months, and 20 29 days, when NB Park reclaimed the top spot for the first time since 2015. Let's talk about what Ko had to say. Considering how the golfer slipped down the ladder to the 55th spot in the world rankings back in 2020, this is an incredibly huge achievement. Ko was understandably overcome by emotion when she finally broke the curse and regained the number one spot. After the game, the golfer claimed that she is very grateful to be world number one again. Ko added that she wasn't sure if I'd ever be back here again. She then went on to thank all her supporters for sticking by her side through all this time and claimed that this wouldn't have been possible without her family and team. This is Ko's 105th week as world number one, and she is currently fifth in the most weeks spent at number one, only one week behind NB Park's 106 weeks and four weeks behind Yanni Tsang's 109 weeks. Lorena Ochoa takes the number one spot with 158 weeks at world number one, closely followed by Jin Young Ko at number two with 152 weeks. Moving on, let's talk about her journey back to the top. Ko was tied with Leona McGuire heading into the final round of the 2022 LPGA Tour season and five shots ahead of third place. She shot her second straight 70 to secure the record $2 million first prize, her 19th career LPGA title, and her second career Rolex Player of the Year honor. Before the final round, there was speculation that McGuire, who won her first LPGA Tour title in February, would be difficult to beat due to her competitive nature. McGuire's competitiveness was on full display 14 months ago during the Solheim Cup when she won four and a half points in her debut to lead Europe to an upset away victory at Inverness Club. Adding to Coe's troubles was the fact that she was playing on Maguire's home turf. The Ireland native was at ease in the windy conditions of the course. However, a lot of people ignored one key element, Coe's pedigree, which includes two major victories and a sufficiently windy New Zealand heritage. Coming up, here's how everything played out. All through the nine holes, the two golfers kept daring the field to catch them. However, Coe maintained a lead over her competition competition on the back nine as Anna Nordqvist shot up the leaderboard. McGuire scrambled admirably despite occasionally appearing nervous, but Ko, an LPGA veteran of nine seasons, was way more composed down the stretch, and we believe this played a huge role in her eventual victory. A key moment took place on the 14th hole. It was a relatively simple par five which had played relatively easy despite the challenging conditions. McGuire's second shot was arguably her worst of the day, sending the ball low and left where it vanished into the high grass bordering the water water never to be found. Then, in one of her few final round blunders, Ko hit her second shot right and it rolled into the same grass. But Ko found her ball and took a penalty drop closer to the hole. Both made bogey, dropping Ko to 15 under and Maguire to 14 under. However, Nordqvist, who had just gotten to 13 under, made her own bogey on 16, largely because she lacked the confidence to make a pitch from close to the green and opted to putt around a bunker and leave a complicated par attempt. Now, this was the beginning of the end. One of the game's most crucial moments came came at the 15th hole. This is when Ko left her approach below the cup, aimed for the left center, and made a 10-foot putt for birdie to extend her lead to two shots. Ko and Maguire both made birdies on the par 5 17th, which was the easiest hole at Tiburon. On the par 6 18th, Nordfist made her fifth birdie in as many holes to get to 14 under and clinch third place. The tournament was essentially over the moment when Ko's drive on 18 toyed with the right rough but ended up staying on the fairway. This was honestly a super competent approach, and we were 
proven correct only two putts later when Co bagged the $2 million prize. Coming up, Lydia cleaned house this year. The high finish on the LPGA Tour's season finale was rewarded more generously than at other LPGA Tour events and even most PGA Tour stops. The $2 million payday at the CME Group Tour Championship represented 28.57% of the total purse. This is a much higher percentage than typical LPGA Tour events, which typically pay out 15% of the total purse to the winner. It was also Co's second time receiving POY honors, the first being in 2015. Amazingly, Co finished the year with $4,364,403 in her pocket, falling just $591 short of Lorena Ochoa's 2007 record for most money won in a single season. She also ended up bagging the Vare Trophy as the player with the lowest scoring average for the year, with 68.988, second only to Annika Sorenstam, who averaged 68.70 in 2002. Aside from this, Co won three times in 2022, including the Gainbridge LPGA at Boca Rio, the BMW Ladies Championship, and of course the season-ending CME Group Tour Championship, where she won the largest first-place prize in women's golf history. In addition to winning the race to the CME Globe, Co was also named Rolex Player of the Year for the second time in her career. Next up, what did Lydia have to say following her win? The New Zealand native claimed that she felt pretty calm throughout the whole game. She said that she expected herself to be a lot more nervous, but the butterflies in her stomach just went away. Co also recalled being very nervous on the cart ride from the putting green to the tee in Korea, which is where she won the BMW Ladies Championship last month, but she was surprised at how calm she was today. Moving on to Ko's hilarious speech. For someone as composed and calm as Ko, her post-game speech was a little out of the ordinary. She was in front of several hundred people who were in awe of her. Ko kept her nerves to herself. She gave a brilliant opening to the speech. I think I should have had a shot of vodka before I came up here, Ko joked as she reached for the microphone, prompting hysterical laughter. Later in her speech, the Kiwi golfer thanked her caddies for their assistance throughout the year. However, the list was lengthy. Apparently, she changed caddies like clubs during a hugely successful year in which she won three trophies. The LPGA Tour's youngest millionaire eventually worked with 10 caddies that year, for which Co called out their names to express her gratitude. The audience was clearly having a good time, with the last few names falling on deaf ears. Overall, Co's speech was hilarious, and the audience burst out laughing several times. Finally, Lydia is already close to becoming a Hall of Famer at just 25 years of age. Unlike the World Golf Hall of Fame, where inductions are decided by a committee, the LPGA Hall of Fame is entirely based on a point system. After this last win, Co is now shockingly close to earning enough points to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. You see, players must first win an LPGA major, the Vare Trophy, or the Rolex Player of the Year award. Co has already accomplished each of these feats twice in her career. The golfer receives one point for each of the achievements, and major championship victories are worth two points. In the end, a total of 27 points are required for admission. This makes Co's 25 accumulated points at 25 years old almost impossible to comprehend. Her career's barely started, and there's already no doubt that she'll go into the Hall of Fame. That's a wrap for this video. Are you glad Lydia finally broke out of her slump? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.